The benefits of adopting a cat are plentiful. You get to enjoy the company of an animal without having to pay for any food or vet bills. You also get all the health benefits that come with pet ownership, like reduced stress levels and improved cardiovascular health. Best 5 Cat Breeds for Families Maine Coon Maine Coons are known for their large size, with females averaging up to 16 pounds and males up to 18, with some tipping the scales at 20 plus pounds. With a long shaggy coat that lays close to the body, a bushy long tail, tufted paw pads and large ears adorned with furry tufts and the lynx tips on top, their build reflects the Maine Coon's origins in the cold northeast. The Maine Coon is known in the cat fancy as a gentle giant, much like the Great Dane is known in the dog fancy by that same nickname. This is an extroverted, outgoing, sociable breed with a loving nature, a kind disposition, and a keen intellect. Most Maine Coons are highly trainable and can easily be taught to walk on a harness and leash. They are affectionate, playful animals that typically get along extremely well with children, other cats, and even dogs. The friendly, laid-back Maine Coon is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect, and he doesn't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. He is happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. Persian The Persian, also known as the Persian Longhair, is an elegant, graceful, gentle breed whose most distinguishing characteristics are its remarkable coat and its unique head. Today, the Persian is one of the most popular of all feline breeds due to its exceptional beauty, kind temperament, and easygoing disposition. While their basic temperaments have changed little over time, their conformation and overall appearance have changed considerably. Modern Persians are medium to large in size and stocky, with short, thick legs, massive rumps, and distinctively cobby profiles. Their large, round paws are tufted with fur. The Persian's head is broad in skull, round, and unusually large for the size of its body, while its ears are especially tiny in comparison and are tufted, which is called having ear furnishings. The Persian's eyes are big, round, and very expressive. Whatever their color, deepness of eye color is preferred in this breed. The Persian's open, pansy-like face is famously flat, with a perky upturned nose and an extremely short muzzle that is barely noticeable. Its neck is short and thick, with a distinctive mane-like ruff, and its tail is short and bushy. The heads and facial features of Persians have become increasingly exaggerated over time. The coat of the Persian has also become more exaggerated over the years. It is extraordinarily long, silky, dense, fine, and profuse. Persians have an extremely thick, soft undercoat with a longer outer layer made up of more coarse guard hairs. The Persian's coat requires daily grooming, including brushing and combing, along with regular bathing to prevent the development of nasty tangles and mats. This is necessary whether or not the cat is being entered in the show ring. Persians tend to shed year-round, even more so than other long-haired breeds. They should be housed exclusively indoors to protect their prized coats, as well as to protect them from parasites and other perils of outdoor living. The Persian is generally described as a quiet cat. Typically placid in nature, it adapts quite well to apartment life. Himalayans tend to be more active due to the influence of Siamese traits. In a study comparing cat owner perceptions of their cats, Persians rated higher than non-pedigree cats on closeness and affection to owners, 
friendliness towards strangers, cleanliness, predictability, vocalization, and fussiness over food. British Short Ire. The British Short Ire, also called the English Cat or simply the Brit, is the national cat of the British Isles. This is a compact, muscular, and powerful breed that should be cobby or chunky in appearance. The British Short Ire has a broad chest, short strong legs, and large rounded paws. Its tail is thick at the base, round at the tip and plush but not fluffy. The males are almost always larger than the females. This size difference is more easily recognized in British Short Airs than in most other domestic breeds. Unlike females, mature males tend to develop prominent chubby cheeks or jowls, which is another distinguishing gender-based feature. The British Short Air, or the Brit, as it is sometimes affectionately called, is an easygoing, intelligent, friendly breed. It has been described as being placid, patient, and predictable. The British Short Air's sweet and gentle nature makes them wonderful, steadfast companions and undemanding family members. They adapt easily to apartment, farm, city, or estate living. These are not noisy or pushy cats, although they greatly appreciate and accept affection when it is offered to them. This mild-mannered cat is well-suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect and is forgiving of clumsy toddlers. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet him. Other cats will not disturb his equilibrium. For best results, always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. Exotic Short Ire The exotic short ire is a man-made breed resulting from the cross of Persians with American short airs and other short-haired cats. The exotic's body and head style match that of the Persian, but the breed was separated into its own category in the 1960s. The desired coat is dense, plush, and stands away from the body due to the thick undercoat. Because outcrosses are regularly done to Persians, many long-haired kittens occur in exotic litters. Some associations will register and show these cats as Persians. A bit livelier and more inquisitive than the Persian, exotics share many of the Persian's gentler personality features. Known as the lazy man's Persian, the exotic short air has the body type and easygoing nature of the Persian, but without the coat length and need for daily grooming. With her thick, dense, plush short hair and round face, the exotic short air has a soft teddy bear look. This sweet feline is affectionate and loyal. The breed is athletic, fun-loving, yet also quiet and sensitive. The exotic short air has an exceptionally gentle, kind disposition that is virtually identical to that of the Persian. It is placid and dignified, but also can be curious, fun-loving, and playful. This breed is friendly to other cats and to dogs, as well as to people. Exotic short airs do not enjoy being unattended for long periods of time. When they must be left alone, many exotic owners leave a radio or television on, so that their cats feel less isolated. The exotic short air tends to show more affection than many other short-haired domestic breeds, without being annoyingly demanding. This is an easygoing, quiet cat whose voice is rarely heard. The exotic short ire is sweet, calm, and unfailingly loyal. The adaptable nature of this breed makes them ideal pets for city dwellers and apartment living. They are especially patient with children. Ragdoll. The large, affectionate ragdoll goes limp with pleasure when you cuddle him in your arms, the trait that led to his name. 
He's a big kitty, with males ranging up to 20 pounds, females slightly smaller, starting at 12 pounds and going up to 15 pounds. The ragdoll is a docile, gentle, unusually relaxed animal with a decidedly even disposition. When socialized correctly from birth, they will be friendly and endearing members of the family. Ragdolls can be welcoming to strangers and love being held and snuggled by people of all ages. This breed tends to prefer the company of people more so than that of other pets. They normally are a good pet for young children, as they tolerate and appreciate affection and attention, and typically can withstand a child's exploration and potentially unexpected behaviors. Nonetheless, ragdolls generally prefer calm, rather than rowdy, living environments and are happiest housed entirely indoors. They are great companions for a modern, busy household. The laid-back ragdoll is perfectly suited to family life. He rarely extends his claws when playing, and he usually doesn't mind playing dress-up, riding in a baby buggy, or being a guest at a tea party. Because of their large size, males are an especially good choice for families with children. Of course, you should always supervise young children to make sure they don't torment the cat. And with a cat this size, it's essential to teach children how to support the cat, with one arm beneath the front legs and one beneath the hind legs. Never hold a ragdoll with the hind end hanging down. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see our new videos.